is Voice of Korea. This is Voice of Korea. of Korea. This is most of Korea. Language service of voice of Korea from Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Now here's mixed chorus, song of General Kim Il Sung.
Now here's Mail Cars, song of General Kim Jong Il. Comrade Kim Jong-un, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea and President of the State Affairs of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, arrived in Hassan, the border city of the Russian Federation, on the early morning of September the 12th. They were a guard of honor of the three services of the armed forces of the Russian Federation and its military band at the Hassan railway station with the flaggers of the DPRK and the Russian Federation fluttering. The train carrying Kim Jong-un entered the station yard at 6 o'clock, the local time. Kim Jong-un was courteously received by central and local cottages, including Alexander Kozlov, Minister of Natural Resources and Ecology of Russia, and Oleg Kozemyako, Governor of the Maritime Territory Administration, who had come to Hassan to guide him. He got off the train and shared greetings with the cottage who came to receive him. Conveying the regards of Putin, President of the Russian Federation, to Kim Jong-un visiting Russia again, those cottages warmly welcomed him as the most intimate friends of the Russian people. A ceremony was held to welcome the visit to the Russian Federation by the respected Kim Jong-un, General Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea and President of the State Affairs of the DPRK. The Commander of the Guard of Honor of the Three Services of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation made a report of reception to Kim Jong-un. The national anthems of the DPRK and the Russian Federation were solemnly played. Kim Jong-un reviewed the guard of honor of the three services of the armed forces of the Russian Federation. He had a cordial talk with the Russian friends in the reception room of the station. The central and local cadres of Russia said, President Putin had sent them to the border railway station to receive comrade Kim Jong-un, 
and added that the Russian government and people showed their greatest sincerity, hoping that this visit of Comrade Kim Jong-un would be significant. Kim Jong-un said he is pleased to visit Russia again after four years in the wake of 2019, and added that the journey to the Russian Federation as the first visit abroad after the world public health crisis is a clear expression showing the founder of that party and government which gave priority to the strategic importance of the DPRK Russian relations. Chief person both thanks to the central and local leading officials for having greeted him with a passionate and well turned feelings at the border railway station and sent best wishes to the presence of the Russian Federation and its government and the Russian army and people on behalf of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Russian Minister of Natural Resources and Ecology Alexander Kozlov presented a gift to Kim Jong un. Kim Jong un looked for a place of his visit amid the send off of the Russian cutters. The respected comrade Kim Jong un received messages of greetings from heads of state of different countries on the occasion of the 76th founding anniversary of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The messages came from the President of the Republic of Belarus, the President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the President of the Republic of Senegal, the President of the Republic of Seychelles, and the King of Bahrain. They warmly congratulated the DPRK on its 76th founding anniversary and expressed the belief that the friendly and cooperative relations between the DPRK and those countries would continue to be strengthened and developed in the future too. Officials of the Central Standing Committee of the General Association of Korean Residents in Japan, or Chongyan, placed floater baskets before the smiling portraits of the great leaders, Generalismers Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, on the 8th, on the occasion of the 76th founding anniversary of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Present on the occasion were Chairman Ho chong man First Vice Chairman and Director of the Department for Organizational Affairs, Park Gu Ho, Vice Chairpersons, Directors, and other officials of the Central Standing Committee of Chongyan. The participants laid water baskets before the smiling portraits of the great leaders and paid homage to them. That day, officials of central organizations, including the Korean Republic in Japan, the Union of Democratic Korean Women in Japan, the Union of Korean Teachers in Japan, the Korean Health Workers Association in Japan, and the Union of Korean Students in Japan laid bouquets before the smiling portraits of the great leaders and paid a tribute to them. A central meeting of the Koreans in Japan took place at the Korean Hall in Tokyo on the 8th to celebrate the 75th founding anniversary of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Present there were Chairman Ho chong man First Vice Chairman and Director of the Department for Organizational Affairs, Park Gu Ho, and other officials of the Central Standing Committee of the General Association of Korean Residents in Japan, or Chongyan, and Chairpersons of the Headquarters of Chongyan in the Kanto region. The national anthem of the DPRK was played. Park Gu Ho made a report. He paid the noblest respect to the great leaders, Generalismers Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, on the occasion of the significant 75th founding anniversary of the DPRK, and extended the greatest honor and warmest thanks to the respected Marshal Kim Jong-un. He said the DPRK, shining with the names of the great leaders Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, could have its dignity, position, and general power on the highest plane under the leadership of Marshal Kim Jong-un. He also said Chong Yun would powerfully advance along the road of loyalty and patriotism indicated by Marshal Kim Jong Un to demonstrate the honor of the dignified overseas citizens organization of the glorious DPRK. And he called upon all to fly the blue and red national flag more fiercely in firm unity with one mind and purpose toward the bright future of the homeland and nation, Chong Yun and the Koreans in Japan opened by Marshal Kim Jong Un. A congratulatory message of the Central Standing Committee of Chongyan to Marshal Kim Jong-un was read out at the meeting. 
The green performance, our national flag, was given in Tokyo of Japan on the 6th, on the occasion of the 75th founding anniversary of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. It was enjoyed by Chairman Ho Chong Man, first Vice Chairman and Director of the Department for Organizational Affairs, Park Gu Ho, and other officials of the Central Standing Committee of the General Association of Korean Residents in Japan, or Tongyan, chairpersons of the headquarters of Tongyan in the Constellation, leading officials of the Central Organizations and Business Firms, and Korean compatriots. The performance was given by artists of the Kumgangsan Opera Troupe and the Korean Song and Dance Group in Tokyo and Korean compatriots of Broad Stripes. Put on the stage were various items including the chorus, Song of the Proclamation of the People's Republic, the female solo, I Sing of the Homeland, the male chorus, Shine All the Time, Our Chongyan, and the orchestral music, The Glorious Motherland. The President of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria sent a photo basket and a congratulatory letter to the Embassy of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in Algeria on the 9th, on the occasion of the 75th founding anniversary of the DPRK. A member of the protocol of the Presidential Office of Algeria laid the flutter basket before the smiling portraits of the great leaders Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il and paid homage to them. The Embassy of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in Russia gave a reception on the 7th on the occasion of the 75th founding anniversary of the DPRK. Invited to the reception were Mikhail Bogdanov, Acting Foreign Minister of Russia, Alexander Fomin, Vice Minister of Defense, personages of the Federal Assembly, government, political parties, organizations and institutions of Russia, including the Federation Council, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the United Russia Party, the Korean War Veterans Council and the TAS, and diplomatic representatives and military attaches of different countries in Russia. Present there was Xin Hongchen, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the DPRK to Russia and staff members of its embassy. The participants laid a flutter basket and bouquet before the joint picture of the great leaders Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il and paid homage to them. They looked around photos showing the immortal exploits performed by the great leaders Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il and the respected comrade Kim Jong-un for the development of the friendly relations between the DPRK and Russia and photos showing the tremendous national power of the DPRK. Addressing the reception, the Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Vice Minister of Defense of Russia said, the Korean people have powerfully advanced the cause of socialism and ensured peace and security of the Korean Peninsula under the wise leadership of Comrades Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il and Kim Jong-un and expressed full support to the independent external policy of the DPRK. In the meantime, receptions were also given by the DPRK missions in Khabarov and Vladivostok of Russia on the 8th. The sports contest of officials of ministries and national institutions 2023 came to a close, which is started on August 16th. Men's football, men's volleyball and bowling matches and obstacle race took place at the contest. Before the closing ceremony, there were men's football finals between the teams of the Ministry of Information Industry and the Ministry of Land and Maritime Transport. The closing ceremony was held at Kim Il-sung Stadium on September 12th. Present there were Kim Do-kun, member of the Presidium of the Political Bureau of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea and Vice President of the State Affairs Commission and Premier of the Cabinet of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Kim Il-guk, Minister of Physical Culture and Sports, members of the National Sports Guidance Committee and leading officials of the ministries and national institutions, government employees and players. Total and event rankings were announced in the closing ceremony. Premier Kim Do-kun awarded rotating pennants and trophy cups to the teams which proved successful in the matches. Vice Premier Kim song jung made the closing address. Active efforts are made to make and disseminate diverse works and products representing the love for the national flag when the dignity and prestige of the powerful state are fully displayed. 
The Manson Art Studio produces craft work of the flag of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea for desk, wickers, and brooch, representing the desire of the people to have it nearby. The employees of the Tansang Sportswear Factory make positive efforts to represent the national flag more wonderfully and diversely on the sportswear they make since the people's demand for the clothes with the national flag printed is growing day by day. The rice harvest has begun at the rural communities across the country. The Agricultural Commission and the Agricultural Guidance Organs at all levels plan and organize the work to finish harvesting and thrashing qualitatively in the best season. For fishers and agricultural workers in South and North Hwangya provinces have mapped out detailed plans according to the characteristics of fields and the working conditions and are speeding up the rice harvest by mobilizing manpower and machines. Agricultural workers in North Pyongan, Gangwon, and South Hamgyong provinces are also harvesting rice at a fast speed. And that's the end of the news. Read by Ri Hyung-sin and Cha Yun-kyung. This is Voice of Korea. Now here's female duet and Pang Chang, our marshal. Uh. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Here is light music for guitar and violin. We cannot live out of its embrace. You are invited to listen to the song, We Think of the Marshal, Awake or Asleep. He gives field guidance day and night. His love for the people is increasing. With increasingly deep thanks, ardent desire to hold him in higher esteem, we wish Marshal Kim Zeman good health, awake or asleep.
Now you listen to trumpet solo, the genre star beyond the cloud.
important issues for development of science and technology. The 8th plenary meeting of the 8th Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea clarified that in order to confidently open the road of national rejuvenation and prosperity by dint of self-sustenance and self-reliance, all the sectors and fields should regard the development of science and technology as the core strategy and direct main efforts to it. The national prosperity and development are accelerated by the talented personnel and backed up by the scientific progress. The difference of the national power between the countries on the world arena at present is, in essence, that of scientific and technological level and that of talent. The growth of national power of a country and its position are decided by who has the greatest number of latest science and technology and talented personnel. One of the important issues for the development of science and technology of the country is to firmly prepare the scientists and technicians as revolutionary and patriotic scientists. The value of science and technology is decided by what great benefits the country and people will get from. Therefore, whether or not the scientists and technicians make research findings which can give a substantial help to the prosperity and development of the country is an issue of loyalty to the party, revolutionary faith, and patriotism before the issue of their ability. It is the demand of the Workers' Party of Korea that all the scientists and technicians should know what the party and the people want before acquiring technology, and they should be ardent revolutionaries and genuine patriots before becoming scientists and technicians. Another important issue is to mobilize and use the scientific personnel in a unified and effective way. It is the intention of the Workers' Party of Korea to make the spirit of attaching importance to the talented personnel from social customs, train them systematically with much effort, assign them to the right post, and let them lead the production and the development of technology. In the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Scientific personnel are trained and efficiently mobilized under the unified control and management of the state according to the law and management of scientific and technological personnel. It is the steadfast will of the Workers' Party of Korea and the DPRK government to regard the scientific development strategy as a core strategy and promote the overall development of socialist construction. Important issues for development of science and technology. This is voice for Korea. Here is female quarters. Fly high our party flag.
Please appreciate this song. My red spirit keeps me strong. From the revolutionary opera The Sea of Blood, from the immortal masterpiece of the same title. Listeners, 
With this, we conclude the English language service of Voice of Korea from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Voice of Korea presents its English language service for Europe between 15 and 16 hours UTC, between 18 and 19 hours UTC, between 21 and 22 hours UTC, and between 13 and 14 hours UTC on 13,760 kilohertz and 15,245 kilohertz. For North America between 15 and 16 hours UTC and between 13 and 14 hours UTC on 9,435 kilohertz and 11,710 kilohertz. And for Northeast Asia, between 4 and 5 hours UTC, and between 6 and 7 hours UTC, on 7,220 kHz, 9,445 kHz, and 9,730 kHz. Goodbye, this is Pyongyang.